This Excel table with messy text gotta be cleaned. I wanna show you 5 fundamental techniques for cleaning text in Excel. Let's get it started. Let's start first with duplicating this spreadsheet. Press on Ctrl and drag the spreadsheet. So we will have one spreadsheet with raw data. And the second spreadsheet will be clean data. Within the raw data spreadsheet, we will want to select uh, the data set. Press on Ctrl Shift. Make sure the A1 cell is selected. Press on right arrow, then down arrow. Now our content is selected. Now press on Ctrl T. Our table has header, so we leave this box checked on. And now OK. Can rename our table to raw data. This way it will be easier to clean our messy data. Now let's go back to our clean data spreadsheet and let's proceed to cleaning. The first thing I would suggest doing is to resize a little bit the cells. You can see that the full name and addresses and email doesn't fit. And also the rows have different sizes. So we will need to resize all of them. To do that, first we need to select all the content within the spreadsheet. So Control A. And now we can use uh, some shortcuts. The first one is Alt H O I to arrange the width of the columns. And to resize the um, height of the rows, it's Alt H O I. A. Now the cells are fitting properly, so let's start cleaning the text. The first column to clean will be the full name column. You can see here we have uppercase letters and all over the place. We also have some sneaky spaces in here and here and all over the column. So first thing I would suggest doing is to trim all the content of your um, table not just this column because this way we make sure that we get rid of all the sneaky spaces to do that we can write in here the trim function and we can select the content from the whole spreadsheet so you see because we created the table instead of selecting the cells we get the name of the table and all. So what we could do, let's delete the function and write again. And now we can write row data. You see, here is our table. Now open square brackets. And here we have all the columns we can uh, use within this function. But we want to use all content. So click on all. And now close square bracket and close round bracket. So now we trimmed the whole data set. Let's copy it and paste it only with values in here. So now we are sure that we don't have any sneaky spaces in here. The next thing to do is to correct the casing for the content within the full name uh, column. To do that, let's just delete this content and write the next formula, which is proper. This function corrects the casing of the strings. So if we write row data, which is our table, and then open square bracket, to select it, you, you can just play with the arrows and to select the specific content of the table, press on tab and now close square bracket, close round bracket. It seems that uh, I did a mistake. I chose the whole content. I need to select only the full name column. We corrected the casing, but we have again the trim issue because of course I just copied the content from the raw data. So here I could just insert the trim function before the proper. So now the content is correct. Let's copy it and paste it with the values. So we don't have the function anymore. Now what we can do is to split the column. To do that, let's just first create a new column in here. Let's rename this column first name because here we will 
extract first name and here it will be last name and let's select the content that we want to split now let's go to data and select text to columns here check the delimited separation next here we need to select our delimiter our delimiter is the space but it's not the tab so we unchecked it and we leave only the space checked on and now we are ready and we click on finish now the string is separated let's do it one more time for the address column here i would like to split the address from the city and also from the country so let's create two more columns in here like this let's write in here city and here country and now let's select this content in here go again to text to columns delimited next the delimiter is not space anymore it's the comma because we have the comma in here after the address and here after the city we can see here the preview of the splitting the string it looks all right so finish now we have splitted the address now let's deal with the country column because it seems we have some um, messy data in here let's select the content within this column press ctrl shift and down arrow and then ctrl f here we got the find and replace window we will click on replace because we want to replace the dollar sign with uh, uppercase s and we want to replace them all we had 18 replacements now i can see in here we have some underscores so let's find underscore and replace it with nothing so this way we got rid of the underscores let's close the find and replace window now let's deal with the email column it seems that here we don't have the complete email addresses the only complete email address is amelapandersonaronjahoo.com but let's assume that all the other emails are the are similar format to this one first name plus full stop plus last name and then the email domain so here we can use the concatenation function let's write equal concat and then go to function window and let's select the first name row then we need to insert a full stop so let's put a full stop into quotes then let's select the last name and then let's select the email address now close the with the wrong bracket now let's fill down the formula and we can copy it in here but before that let's just use the lower function which modifies all the strings to lower case so we put this function before the concat let's drag it one more time like this now we can copy and paste the content in here and what is left to do now is to make sure that we don't have any duplicates within our data set to remove duplicates let's select all the content of our table Control shift right arrow down arrow now make sure you are in the data ribbon and now we can remove duplicates you could either click on remove duplicates or you could use the shortcut which is alt a m here our table doesn't have headers and we click ok and you can see that five duplicate values have been found and removed so now we got rid of the duplicates fortunately the phone number column is okay we don't have to clean anything from it so now our data is clean all these techniques and functions are simple but crucial when cleaning the data what technique did you find the most useful? If you enjoy cleaning data, check the video where I clean the same dataset with Power Query. It's even easier and faster than the functions from today's tutorial. Check it out. My name is Christian, and it's a pleasure to be with you in your learning journey. See you.